I want you to think of the story of Oprah Winfrey. She was fired at the age of 15 for being terrible at her job as a waitress. She went on to create the biggest media outlet we had known for a long, long time. And uh, in order to do that, she acquired the skills, characters, and discipline necessary to make it happen. It didn't just happen overnight. And I'm sure she wasn't that person when she got fired. She was probably a bad worker. So I want you to think about this, and I want you to think about your dream. So imagine your dream, imagine what you want to happen in life, right? And if you're thinking about it and you're not sure, I want you to sub yourself out. Like, let's, let's say your dream is a multi-million dollar company. If you sub yourself out, you put Grant Cardone in your position. If you sub yourself out, you put Elon Musk or Bill Gates, one of those massive entrepreneurs in your position. Do you think they can do it? Most likely the answer is probably yes, which means that the dream you have is not the issue. The dream isn't the issue. The issue is that you don't believe you can do it. So you need to start building trust. How do you start building trust? Well, there are certain things that you know you should be doing that you aren't doing yet. So some of those things could be going to the gym. It could be reading. It could be journaling. If you tell yourself to do these small things and you actually execute, you learn to start building trust with yourself. If you don't, then your body distrusts what your mind's going to say. Start by doing the small things on a daily basis that you should be doing. And as you gain confidence in your ability to hold a routine and hold down doing things you know you should be doing, you'll begin to trust yourself more and more. And eventually, when you think of your dream, you'll be able to trust that you're the type of person who can execute on it. So that's the message for today, guys. Thank you for staying with me. See you guys tomorrow.